What, what, what? What's up, Ninja Beta fam? This is your boy, Mark Farrell, aka Ninja Beta 2.0, aka Bring That Noise! What's up, what's up? Yeah, that's right. It's been a long time. Um, it's been too long. So, I have some updates for you guys. I was picked for American Ninja Warrior Season 16. Know some things in the back? We got Season 14 over here. We got Season 16 over here. And we changing a few things. We changing a few things. So, my moves be popping. Bringing some breakdancing moves on the scene. And my dreads be popping. Dreads be popping. So, American Ninja Warrior, I just got done. And, uh, oh my gosh, what a freaking experience it was. Got to see all kinds of new heads compete. Um, Utah Ninjas represent on the course. Oh man. So, everything was shot, qualifying round, all the additional semifinals. Um, as well as shot in Hollywood, California. And let me tell you, let me tell you what, it was quite an experience. Um, I feel thankful, thankful to the Lord. And I pray on my lucky stars. Pray on my lucky stars. Let's see how far Ninja Beta 2.0 goes on the course this year. Regardless, I appreciate your support. All the doing shout out to Roy Utah community, Ogden community. You guys have just been a great help. Always supporting me around. So I am definitely, definitely, definitely counting my blessings because everyone that has been around has just been really supportive of me, want to help me out in any way possible. So it's just been awesome. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy ride. Um, what else can I say? So last year, last year, I made it to semifinals. It was a blast. Um, last year I competed, I was at 180 pounds roughly, maybe a little bit more. Um, and this year I was about 205, 205 in weight when I was in Cancun, Mexico, came back, started beasting it, beasting it, cut, 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 and got up down to about 185 pounds, 7% body fat. I was a machine. I still am a machine. Lately, I came back, I'm, I came back, I've been doing nothing but eating recently. Oh man, so I gotta, I've been eating, just trying to regain my my natural body weight back a little bit because <clears throat> being so low, it just doesn't feel right. My body is just always hungry all the time. So I don't have to experience that anymore. Um, but yeah, American Ninja Warrior was just a grateful opportunity. Met so many good ninjas. and But one thing that I don't want to go through again is American Ninja Warrior shot everything outside. <clears throat> they didn't do, they didn't shoot the shots inside. Um, so weather did play a factor out there. Um, and uh, it's just been, it was a crazy ride, you know, so you have to battle the elements, cold temperature, you have to ba battle uh, staying up late at night along with trying to keep your strength. So. You're trying to be a beast at fighting all kinds of different things. So, yeah, it's a challenge, but am I up to the challenge? I guess we'll have to see. Ninja Beta 2.0, we're gonna send it. Trust me, gonna send it hard. But yeah, luckily I was able to go down there, had, this is all about 
my experience with having my wife come down this year. She's coming down, she came down to Hollywood to come watch me run. I had my mom, my Filipino half. My so funny story, my mom, who lives in Germany, and my sisters and all that side of the family that live in Germany, and my whole objective was my story was around her and she was gone. She, I was like, where'd you go? Where are you going, Mom? Well, she's going to the Philippines. And I'm like, oh, snap. She's going to the Philippines. What am I going to do? But she, luckily, I was able to get a hold of her sister or my, my, my aunt. Her name's Denilyn. She's She was one of my team captains. And we're able to organize having my mom come out. She came out to the Philippines and I was able to um, help get set up with her in the Philippines and have some of my Filipino family and my Germany family come watch me run, which was just phenomenal. On top of that, having another screen at home and have my people, have my all my friends of my circles come watch me run. If you weren't able to watch me run the course, I'm sorry. Um, you should have reached out to me, uh, and I apologize regardless ahead of time if you're watching this. Um, but I love you, and uh, those that are watching this and you did watch me appreciate the support too. That was just an amazing experience. Um, but yeah, it's just what can I say? You know, am I? I feel thankful to be called back for, I was part of season 14, so they did seasons 15 and 16 this year. <clears throat> so you won't see me till 2024 potentially. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Am I going to be, what, am I going to be a completely different person then? Phew, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty excited for the show to be seen. I love American Ninja War regardless Seasons 15, season 16, you know, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. But season 16, it's going to be hard to just wait around and and just see how it goes. You know, it was my first time uh, doing B-roll, so I did a bunch of hero shots. I was able to get my flex on. Uh, what's up? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. And, ex and have that ex experience and do interviews and share my story. You know, I probably see a little bit more TV time than I did last year um, because they didn't call as many ninjas. Um, so well, I'm super stoked for all of that to happen. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this is what you'll see me in next year. Bring that noise, bring that noise. And then my lucky number seven, right? My lucky number seven's on the back. Got got to sport that. We're on that number seven. Wow, let's go. But uh, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite the show. There's so much talent on this on this season. It's not even funny. It's just stacked. Everyone they called was strong, and they're there to bring it. And if you make it to semifinals this year, then it's it's a neck and neck race. So after qualifying, and if you make it to qualifying, then I guess we'll see. Then it's a it's a it's a race off if you make it to semifinals, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but super excited to see. Oh, ready to bring that noise? I got I got music in the background, so I'm all pumped. I immediately wanna you know talk to you but dance at the same time I'm just like oh, what's up this is gonna be like a like a dance off at the same time like what dance move you want me to do next oh uh, what's up nah no dance -off. but if you want to challenge me let's go no but I'm ready to bring that noise you know what I mean ready to bring that noise wherever I go Wherever I go. Hey, you over there? Let's go. You over here? Let's go. Right? Right? No, I was 
It was a good experience, but I did have a little bit of a bad experience. <laughs> like, uh, like as I ran my ran my run, I heard a couple people saying, you know, they think that what I do on stage is fake. It's a freaking show. We're here to entertain. We're here to make the show progress into another level so it sticks around, right? Entertainment value. That's what I bring. That's what I bring. I'm here. To, I'm a team player. I'm a team player. I'm ready to play with you. You play with me. Let's go. You know, let's bring this show to the next level. We're here to entertain. Not only just compete, but entertain. You know, the, the, you never know with American Ninja Warrior. American Ninja Warrior Australia or Australian Ninja Warrior. That show got canceled this year. I know, right? Pretty sad. So a lot of those Ninja Warriors out there can't do American Ninja Warrior, the show at least anymore. So there was a couple American, uh, Ninja Warriors who have dual citizenship and they were able to compete on the show this year. And I was happy for them. It's like, hell yeah. Come out here, put a little shrimp on the bobby or something like that, you know? What's it, bring it. We'll bring the nose together, all right? <laughs> No, but that's sad if, if that's like, I hope that's not a prerequisite to what could happen to American Ninja Wear because I feel like, I feel like American Ninja Wear has got enough fan base that it could survive for potentially ever, you know, if Amer and if NBC decides to <clears throat> get rid of the show, I hope they, you know, if they do decide to, to at least sell it to another channel that's just as successful as them. American Ninja Warrior is eventually going to turn into Olympics. UNA and OCR are essentially combining and then going into the Olympics. You know, and it's going to be some kind of an obstacle course racing going on in the Olympics this year. Yeah. Let's be looking out. Coming. Get my stretch on. Be going into the Olympics. No, I don't know. I have to look into that. That's in the future. That's too far in the future. I'm settling right now. How do you like my dreads though? Is it pretty sick? I just got them like three months ago, maybe even less than that. So they're still taking a little bit to get used to. You know, obviously they're not real. They're extensions. So those that are like, his hair, he's got a weave. What the heck is this? Yeah, I know. I like it. Who cares? If I like it, don't worry about it, right? It's not your hair, it's my hair. And then I got this in the back. So, still kind of a hawk, right? I like anime, so I'm trying to make myself look like an anime character. I'm trying to go Dragon Ball Z style. Ah! Power up, what's up? I'm glowing. Put me on some DBZ. Make me make my white hair just go up like this and then ambiance uh, coming out. <sighs> Imagine that as an entrance on American Enjoyer. Just like powering up. <sighs> and then like everybody in the audience is just like got one of those like power finders that show like your power level and then just like showing me like going to another level, like blowing stuff up around me. Ah! I finally take on the course and like everything's destroyed around me. It's like, okay, we're not inviting this guy this next year. This guy just demolished the entire course, powering up, doing something crazy. But this, this is un this is unacceptable. No, but. I'm excited. And I hope you guys are excited with me. Had the Utah Ninjas. There was probably about 12 of us. So there was a bunch of us on the show on my episode. And last year it was cool. Because last last year I didn't have I had one other Utah Ninja with me. His name was Wally. Cool guy. This year had the Bex friends with me, along with a Maddie, my boy Colton, Ryan, Ryland. Oh, Rysan, sorry, um, but 
It was crazy. It was crazy. Whew. Utah blowing up. Utah blowing up. We're going hard. Uh, oh, we're going hard. Uh. So I'm gonna do when I walk into a place and we're going hard. If I'm going hard, oh, that's my new move. Ah. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, it's just, it's hard though. It's hard coming back to reality. It's like, uh, okay, gotta go back to work. Yeah, I'm back at work. No, but it's crazy. Just in case you guys are looking at this lovely photo back here. My beautiful wife, Michelle. She's quite adorable, isn't she? I thought so. That's why I have my photo of her right here. The photo's of my family all around me. Helps entertain and keep my sanity as I'm working. It's my office. It's my office space. <laughs> but yeah. What is going on for Ninja Beta next? So, I freaking love reality TV shows. Um, I'm actually going to apply to be on the show called The Mole. I'm really hoping, really hoping they pick me. But I'm honestly hoping they pick me to be The Mole. If I get picked, like if I'm The Mole, freak, I'm going to destroy some people's lives. It, so, so if you guys haven't watched them all, it's a challenge. It's a uh, it's an obstacle. It's a show, te a team based challenge show. So you ha every team member are contributing to get money in a pot that eventually only one person can win. But the mole's responsibility is to make sure those ch team challenges get distorted or try to take money away to be won because that mole is gonna. Uh, trying to win the money based off of the money it they're preventing from winning. So the moles get money as well. And so the objective of the rounds is they try to vote. They try to vote people off or vote who they think is the mole. And then whoever comes close doesn't get voted off. And then if you get close to whoever you think is the mole, or if, you, if you're not, if you're far off from who you think is the mole, you're going to get canned pretty much so and then there's people that are actually trying to act like the mole just so as a strategy to try to get you kicked off pretty much so but i already got my own strategy what i'm gonna do if i'm the mole i'm just gonna can't tell you but let's just say that i'm ready to ruin people's lives over being the mole because they're never gonna know they're not gonna see it coming but yeah, that's far down the road. Um, right now, just trying to get my mind right. Uh, I barely started a job with uh, a tech firm called Deloitte. They're treating me well. Um, onboarding was pretty lengthy. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm part of this new, uh, new business innovation technology team. So we're building, creating, uh, yeah, innovative technology. So it's exciting. Exciting. I used to work for uh, Bit Incorporated, creating digital currencies uh, for governments. I'm not working with them uh, for right now. Well, I probably won't come back, but they're a good company. But try time to move on to bigger and better things, right? So it's Deloitte right now. The lights treat me good. Um, happy wife, happy wife, happy life, right? So family life is good. Um, but unfortunately, I live in Utah and it has been snowing. Snowing like no other, like every other day or more. Um, so it's just crazy. Uh, I'm ready for it to be summer, ready for the sun, sun out, guns out. <clears throat> But I can't. It's cold. Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. It was freaking cold as heck. Like, it, oh my goodness. I ended up getting back in the hotel. I cannot stop shaking because it was so damn cold. I turn, turned up the thermostat. Like, oh my goodness. 
why I thought California didn't get this cold, but it did. It did, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, my story is over now. Uh, my mom, she was able to see me run. Some family out in Germany, some family out in the Philippines, some family at home. Man, how lucky can I be? Huh? Just feel super privileged and thankful. So I just wanted to do one more shout out. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the support in the area. You guys are just amazing at home. All the ninjas uh, around the area uh, or in my region or just randomly in chats helping me out uh, with advice or what I need to know. Um, you guys are just, the ninja community just amazing. Everybody's here to help each other grow and just support each other you know I'm competing against <clears throat> I'm competing against the other other ninjas right and they're competing against me yet we support each other on each other's sidelines wherever you need how did you do you know what can we do to do better so it's we're like a big family no other community is like this but but yeah just want to be I just want to say thank you all for for the support um, feel free if you want to come out Ninja Warehouse and 31st and Wall that's where I train at if you want some tips advice on workouts or want to know about my tats want to know about that beast that beast my lucky stars my lucky roses here we go so the luck just continues. Um, I believe in karma. Let's just get back at it. You know, karma, you do good to me, I'll, I'll, I'll open the door for you, I'll give you my shirt, I'll give you advice, and I'm not looking back. I'm helping out others. I'm not saying, oh yeah, I'm waiting for them to do something for me. No, you can't look at life like that. You, you help out as much as you can with each other and support each other. And you will see how far that goes for you. Trust me, the reward of giving is much better than the reward of receiving because you develop relationships. That person is going to look in your eye and not realize, and you're not going to realize they're thankful or that goes a long way. You keep doing it over and over again, become a repetitive pattern in your life. People are going to see that. People are going to remember you. Trust me. Trust me. Goes a long way. You don't have to be religious. You don't have to be spiritual. Just do good to others how you want to be treated. You will see. You will see. In return, trust me. Karma. Do good to others. And return will come back to you. It's just a given. The universe, the universe, it's so freaking small. I saw people on the plane I didn't think I was going to see on the way to Hollywood. I saw people on Hollywood I didn't think I saw or I never thought I was going to run into out there. The universe is just crazy. It just, it just happens. You run into people the universe wants you to set up with. You develop relationships with people. And not knowing that that relationship is going to help you in the future. But it will help you in the future. Trust me. But I want to let you know. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. I am truly blessed. And free. Just ugh, my mind is just completely blown. The experience was just amazing. If you have any questions about it. You know, I can't tell you much. I can't say how far I did. But if you need advice about whatever, I would gladly, I would gladly help you. Any way possible. But, yeah. I've been talking. I've been rambling on too much. I love you all. Thank you for support. Ninja Beta, over and out.